Hey guys, Rick and Duke, welcome to another episode of Warhog Words of Wisdom, coming to you live from Suffolk, Virginia. That's right, December 6th, we will be in Suffolk, Virginia, offering one-handed pistol shooting for the K-9 officer. That is a free, let me say again, a free firearms training event via Project Officer Survival and Spike's K-9 Fund. So guys, I'm just going to say this real quick. I have some dramas my law enforcement officers out there not wanting to take free training you understand you're in a job that will kill you i'll let you ponder on that one for a minute let me do some quick housekeeping this episode of war hog wars of wisdom brought to you by the firearms training notebook again guys you gotta have a plan for that live or dry fire training how are you tracking your progress tracking it via the firearms training notebook Right. Annotate your data in there. Take a look back. See the areas that you are deficient. Make those movements. So again, you can be 1% better every day. Um, guys, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a rating review. All that other good stuff. Man, that's going to help us get the show out there. We all know that we're suppressed by big tech. Right. That's a given. Uh, just help us get the word out there. Leave us that rating review on whatever platform you listen to. Share with your friends, uh, especially for your law enforcement officers. Share to these guys. Let them know there is free training to be had. They need to take advantage of it. So super easy to do. Um, easiest thing, go to warhog.com. Since you're there, sign up for the newsletter. You'll see a link that will take you right to the sign-up page for Spikes K9 and uh, get you some free training. So, uh, oh, don't forget, patrons, stand by. I'll have some more details for you guys since we're hitting the patrons. Uh, seven day free trial to our OTR Patreon page. Be part of the crew. Uh, again, bi monthly Zoom calls with me and Mark. Uh, shooting challenge, 100 plus training videos on there, all kinds of great stuff. So, all you got to do is just sign up for Patreon, take a quick peruse. If you like what you see, bam, go ahead, get that free trial and uh, become part of the next Zoom call. All right. So, let's jump right into this free law enforcement firearms training. You know, I don't know what it is here lately. So it seemed like prior to the, the China virus, guys were all over it, right? They'd jump on it. Um, things didn't seem to be as dangerous back then as they are now. But man, things are like getting out of control. But we sit there and offer training. Free training, right? Free. All you got to do is just sign up and come out. Don't take the slot if you're not going to be there. Now, I got it. Last minute things happen. Uh, court, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. I had one guy, man, hat was off to him, right? My man worked, his department wouldn't give him time off. He worked like, then in turn, bam, he was there, uh, right after shift training. Granted, he was good till about mid afternoon. He was like, man, I gotta, uh, I'm done. I was like, right, that dude. Plus, it was like face of the sun, hot middle of July down in South Carolina. But point being, you know, he, he was out there trying to make himself that 1% better. I've offered numerous different deals, um, you know, different local municipalities, and there's always some excuse. And I go, what's the excuse? And I scratch my head and I go, do you really not want me looking up the skirt or what's the deal? Are you that bad or are you putting out that poor of instruction that you don't want, you know, outsiders taking a look. I mean, I want people to give me input. I want to get information. I want to make myself 1% better. So why wouldn't you take the opportunity? And, you know, you get the classic here. Here's a classic one. Well, what do you know, Rick? You're in the army. You guys kill everybody. And you got to sit there and give them a class, right? So it, it's part of its ignorance. So the U S government is not going to fly me or would fly me back in the day, halfway around the world to go repatriate some American citizen and me shoot him, right? We conducted surgical shooting. You don't think we had rules of engagement? Yeah, you know, very similar to what things look like here in the U.S. However, the playing field was a lot different. Three-dimensional, machine guns, grenades, IEDs, RPGs. I mean, we can go down the road of all the the added tools the bad guys had. And it typically wasn't one. It was usually numerous. But my point being, 
is I don't know if it's ego. I don't know if it's arrogance. I don't know what it is. I mean, I watch these guys, and we've done numerous law enforcement training events around the country. And I just see poor gun handling skills. You know, I heard this classic, well, you know, we're going to swap over red dots. We're going to start teaching them to shoot both eyes open. Well, why weren't you doing it prior to? I, I mean, things just don't make sense to me, guys, right? I sit there and look at half of these academy programs. You spend more time in the classroom than you do actually out in the range. The range is your classroom, right? Get them teaching out there, short of showing them how to disassemble or something like that, that you want a controlled environment, maybe. But other than that, man, get them out there training. Do good dry fire training, right? So imagine, do I need to jam it into a week? Or could I sit there and go, all right, hey, man, we're going to tweak an hour off of this day. I'm going to give you a quick fundamentals class. We'll practice that, right? We'll do some just basic dry fire stuff. Start off just some presentation, right? Being able to present the pistol flat line straight to the target as efficient as we can. Whoo, there's a concept. But again, I do, th th this is just me, especially for my LEOs. I put little tests in there for them, right? And then you guys are going to show it to my class and you're going to kind of know, hey, here's the deal. But here's the thing. I tell guys, hey, man. If it's safe, safe direction, why not dry fire? Go ahead. Maximize your training time. And it was funny because last class we had, I had one guy who was out there. He was on the line, you know, just kind of driving. Hey, man, what are you doing? And he gives me this big old deer in the headlight look like, hmm? like I've done something wrong. Um, I was like, what were you doing? Dry fire. And I was like, good on you. Just make sure you're pressing that trigger, right? Because we want to do the whole complete deal. I just don't want you just presenting the pistol out of drawn folks or whatever. Dude, get that trigger press in there. Why not? Um, but the problem I see with the law enforcement training is, my God, you're expected to be an Army individual, 364, except for that day you go to the range. Then you're treated like a child. No loaded firearms in the classroom. Okay, why not? Right. If you're going to do something in the classroom, right, if this is going to be a, a indoor air conditioned drive fire training event. Yeah, cool. I got it. Go ahead. Clear your stuff out. But you expect these guys to go all around your municipality, your city, your county, your district, whatever they're covering the state with a loaded firearm. But man, they come to that range. Woo, you don't want that liability. Sounds to me like you're not empowering you guys. What do you expect them to do out on the street? Then we sit there and scratch our head and go, why are all these officers getting killed? Because of poor training, in my opinion. That and the old liability umbrella floating over their head. But I got it. I shouldn't have to have officers taking days off to train. Right? That's, that's a classic one. Hey, let me see if I can get a DAF. Hmm, interesting. Um, how about the department should give you the time off? There's a novel concept, right? Reward guys, but leadership in action. And, and I've harped this time and time again when it comes to my LEOs. Leadership, lack thereof. You get a guy that shows up and says, hey, Sarge, I'd like to go to the training event. Let your supervisor take a look at it, man. If it looks good, bam, go, right? On the house, paid day, go train. But no, I just, there's no incentive. There's no incentive to train. I had one individual. Uh, he had to pay the department for his bullets. I had another one. He had to pay half. I, I'm like, I don't understand, guys. I don't get it. That, that to me is mind boggling. A better trained officer will have less mistakes out there in the street. Without a doubt. So why not go for training? But I still think it boils down to egos. I think people's egos are too big. Hey, man, I I am not beyond learning. I am not beyond getting a new technique. It is, as far as, as long as that technique makes sense, right? You're not going to show me some Fandango 
put my gun to my head and run around going, yeah, this is the latest and greatest. I'd be like, nope. And nine times out of 10, if they don't tell you the why, suspect right there. So it's funny because we've had some cats that want to point their guns towards their heads. I'm like, why are you doing that? Well, that's the way so-and-so taught us. Cool. Why? Mm. What do you mean you don't know? Never told you the why you're doing something? Right? You're training... It has to make sense, right? You got to sit there and go, why would I ever have a training scenario where I'm in the middle of a fight and then I'm going to have you arbitrarily swap with somebody else? That's my threat. I'm going to deal with it till he's no longer. Not going to go, hey, man, high five. Oh, let me stick a malfunction. Oh, let me do this. It does not compute, right? You stay at the fight that you're in. You stay in a position that offers you mobility. Now, if you want to set something up where, hey, you force a shot from a certain spot, cool, I got it. Have targets there so they can engage that way. But just don't force things to force things to do things. And then you go, why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. And then don't be shooting underneath the SUV when, oh, you're cruising around in freaking chargers. Do you mean how much distance do you have? You actually have a shot under one? Make things as realistic as you can, guys. Right? It's really that easy. But I kind of totally went off on a tangent on that one. But it still goes back to free training, right? You sign up for the newsletter because uh, we launched one out that announced that training event for Spikes. So we got the one in December, December 6th uh, up in uh, Suffolk, Virginia. Again, tailored to the K-9 officer. One-handed shooting for the K-9 officer. Now, you'd have to go reach out to Spikes. Hey, man, I've had S.H.I.E.L.D. guys show up in my class before, right? Open slots, especially at ATK-9. Uh, hey, I'm not a canine guy, but I'm a shield guy, and I do a lot of one-handed shooting. Pfft, come on out. That'd be a conversation you have to have with those guys, right? Ideally, in the name, Spike's Canine Fun, named after Spike, who was killed in action. Um, yeah, they want to cater to the to the law enforcement, or to the canine handle, excuse me. But it doesn't mean you can't plead your case. So just food for thought. And then we got another one coming up in uh, February. I believe that's February 9th down in Pasco County uh in florida so i haven't really pushed that one a whole bunch yet uh i don't know if that one's already filled or if pasco is filling it themselves or how that piece is working but my point being don't ever turn down an opportunity for some free training that little bit of training might save your life and i've had guys and, and i don't want any more of them um if you look at warhog.com under project officer survival we've got three individuals that i know about that have reached back to me that have specifically said hey man that training saved my life and it was within two or three weeks of that training event all three of those individuals were in some type of deadly force encounter um again each one a little different but they directly attributed that training saving their life and i'm not trying to say that to toot my horn i'm just saying hey man get out and train so, law enforcement officers, and again, if I happen to reach out to your municipality, offering my time, my services, I'm doing it because I want to see you guys have a higher survivability out there, God forbid you're ever in that deadly force encounter. I want you to be more effective and efficient with that firearm than what you're getting. Because I see what you're getting. And in my opinion, it's criminal. Just Rick's opinion. The outsider looking in. But again, it all starts with laying that foundation at the academy. And then, oh, having your in-service. Qualifying is testing. That's not training. Somebody's saying, hey, oh, we're going to go out to the range and qual. That's our training day. Nope, you ain't training nothing. You're checking the blocks of the apartments that say you're good. But anyway, that's kind of the quick update on the training. Uh, if you're civilian listening to me rant and rave, Basically, what I was telling you, get your dry fire in, right? Make sure you're as efficient and, and effective as you can be as an armed individual. The last thing you want is, hey, being in that situation where something happens and now you're not prepared for it. So the only way we do that, good dry fire reps. And then, oh, we have a solid plan for our dry fire. Solid plan, we go to the range. Range just confirms our marksmanship. Hey, are we still mitigating our recoil? Yep. All's good. Boom. What do I need to improve? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Don't forget to work out. Don't forget to be a good person. 
don't forget, hey, what are those three things that you're grateful for and dig deep for them, right? Just don't go, I'm grateful for my microphone. Come on, man. Dig a little deeper. All right. Um, anyway, patrons, stand by. I got some more things for you guys. For the rest of you guys, those are your words of wisdom, man. Train hard. Stay safe. We'll see you on the range. Rick and Duco out. Thank you.